Someone called me. Um, hi guys. Um, I'm not feeling good. Um, just so you guys know, I was gonna make a video this whole week about something, and I'm watching Championship Wrestling from Arizona when they did the thing, and I'm skipping this whole thing. Oh, I didn't. They updated it. So, okay. Like, I had a great lifetime. Um, it was. I believe it's Joe Cowley's birthday that day. It was awesome, so. And everyone, that. welcome to Championship Wrestling from Arizona. It's Emmy Award winning broadcast journalist Joe yeah, Galley joins Joe Galley. <laughs> Wiley Ring veteran Kevin Condren, and we're talking about a very special program with United Wrestling Network, and that's the Red Carpet Rumble. That's right, the Red Carpet Rumble has been the premier event for the United Wrestling Network in the past, and it has featured some of the world's best professional wrestlers. That's right, legends like Jake the Snake Roberts, Sean Waltman, and even uh, AJ Styles. That's right, AJ Styles, who just over a year ago today, I wrestled and took to the absolute limit. Who won that match? He did. Well, let's move on. The Red Carpet Rumble this year was absolutely out of this world from Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. That's why we're going to take a look at it right here at Championship Wrestling from Arizona. Stay tuned for this. Stay tuned for this. He's just so adorable. I love him sometimes. That's Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I never watched that before. Like, I'm like, the song is good, to be honest. And... I'm not feeling good. I was gonna. I made a little message like right now, and like the, the video cut off. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, Ashley Grace! But I saw Ashley. Um, you guys just can't check the um clips and stuff. Um, I had sore my leg bad in my nose <laughs> um, from this um, this side, but la this last hard. <laughs> and we're going again, so so yeah. Um, Oh. That's what I was watching on Saturday, Sunday. Okay, um, I'm not sure the camera around. I'm not really feeling good, like, oh, Jesus. Um, my knees hurt, um, I've been out all day yesterday and look like a hot mess and I woke up early and I'm going back to bed soon. I'm just leaving you guys a little tiny message thing that I may make a video of the whole thingish. Like just a little message. Um you guys I would love to hear you guys to comment down below what should I do next and stuff. Um, I will, I'm always in touch with your guys' comments, and I read them a lot, and I'm like, oh, no. and, um, yeah, um, all you guys ever see the sight of me being a little coward, and I'm sure to think it's time, and I get to just read me. yeah, so I love you guys, um, See you guys probably next time. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be making videos. And, and you guys can check out what I posted on my Instagram. It's all about the championship wrestling. And um, I've been noticed that you can raise a lot, and I respect her. Like, she's amazing. I really like, respect her injuries. And one day I would try to make something memorable with injuries. She does not fight in, like, um, like, you know how WWE has their things with their case and stuff? She is, they're different fighters, I just can't put my, my finger on it, but, um, so I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!
like he's uh, regretting that. Oh, okay. Well, looks like Coach has a different plan here. Huddle up again. What's the new play call? So, you know, Willie Mack and Julius Coleman are just flabbergasted. Wait, now it's, now it's Dan Joseph. I guess Coach thinks he can just call substitutions. Apparently you can in the rubble. I've, like, never had anyone like the back three. I don't know. Completely different, but Dan Joseph in a bad spot. I didn't think he wanted to be the one to represent his team. Don't forget, Coach Flex always has the challenge flag. Challenge flag probably doesn't mean much in the red proper rumble. All the referees on the outside. Oh, no. Ooh, surround sound. <laughs> Dan Joseph's chest completely lit up by Willie Mack. As we're about to find out who number five is in the red carpet rumble. Oh! It's Levi Shapiro from the Classic Connection. Whether it's like a built the fist or the claw, he can do damage. Taking it right to Julius Coleman. Of course, he's got to be upset about the big loss against the Friendship Express in the tag team title match earlier on. Wait, is it both members of Classic Connect? Oh no, that's Dickie Mayer. Dickie yeah. Mayer's in the matchup oh, now. Oh, he's had a substitution. He's had a substitution. It's hard to keep track. Pack three just keeps bringing people in. He's explaining the rules to the referee. Should the referee be explaining the rules to him? I don't know if he's explaining. It looks more like an argument with referee Eddie Ferg. Well, Dan Joseph found a way to get out of the rumble, and now Dickie Mayer. Oh, close to elimination there by Julius Coleman. There goes Levi Shapiro. And here comes Dickie Mayer. With... Thus far, the only elimination so far was Sasha Derevko. And you couldn't ask for a better person to be eliminated first. Levi Shapiro in a bad spot here, teetering on the turnbuckle. Levi always knows where he's in the ring. You see him wrapping his legs around that second row. And we got, got another substitution. Dan Joseph's in. We got someone else coming out. member of Vermin. Bad dude Tito is on his way to the ring. Everything's changing right now. This is the red carpet rumble. Don't go anywhere. Red carpet rumble. The momentum has shifted. Bad dude Tito coming in after a big loss to Hammerstone earlier on in the red carpet rumble. A big loss. And is on the finish. Oh, oh and he just kicks Levi Shapiro out of the ring as a second elimination. Super kick. Levi Shapiro right out. Although there's no see. way Bad Dude Tito's going to be in a good mood after losing the Hammerstone. And he also can't be happy with being entered at number six. Definite disadvantage, but Bad Dude Tito could. Oh, we got another substitution here. Here comes Troy McGuire back into the match. And here it goes Troy McGuire out of the match. And Dickie Mayer's back in. The pack three is just ridiculous. Dickie Mayer could get a huge upset taking Willie Mack out of this Dickie, contest Dickie, early Dickie, on. Dickie, you know, Dickie. Julius Coleman wailing away on that dude, you know, Dickie Mayer working on Willie Mack in the corner. Ooh, Willie Mack able to get away. Huge chop right to the chest of Dickie Mayer. He really felt that one. Julius Coleman holding his own. Bad dude Tito's in a bad spot. Who's about to be number seven? It's Eric Cross! Eric Cross made a recent return after being absent for a couple of years of championship wrestling. Don't forget, this is the guy who went to tie back his career by breaking his neck, going right after Willie Mack. Oh, looks like Dickie Mayer's bowed out. We got another substitution. Yeah, here comes back. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Coach Flex, you talk about a game plan. Well, even this game plan has to have some sort of end game. If it's the last competitor, which one gets the title shot? Look, that's one of those moments where you decide it when it happens. You cross that bridge when you come to it. But right now, Pack 3 keeping the fresh man in at all times. Oh, bad dude. Tito's got Julius Coleman in a bad spot. Julius Coleman, hold on. Coleman locking those feet around that top rope. Now Eric Cross stomping away on Dan Joseph. Eric Cross got a real mean streak choking away at Dan Joseph. Yes, he does. It's just carnage in the ring right now. You look at
at Eric Cross, not the most successful return thus far, so he really needs a good performance here in the Rumble. Could be anyone's Rumble, especially for our next competitor about to come out to the ring. Eric Cross patiently waiting in the corner, biding his time. Very smart move. Who is number eight? Sleeping with me. Oh! Great no. counter by Julius Coleman to get back into this matchup. Sliding back in, Julius Coleman survives. The carnage around the entire leg. Okay. Oh, Gino Rivera being choked out. Okay. Uh, That's a aggressive uh, side of Dickie Mayer, the linebacker in the pack three right there.
with the obvious advantage here. Oh, Buddy Royal with a headbutt to Kratos, and I think he did more damage to himself. Oh, Gino Rivera tried the same thing, had the same result. Now Bad Dude Tito choking the life out of Buddy Royal. Look at that. The mean streak of Bad Dude Tito. It is impossible to keep up with everything happening here in the Red Carpet Rumble. Gene Rivera now taking it to Buddy Royal even after their big championship tag team match where the Friendship Express retained their titles. Who's Ooh, number 12? Uh-oh! We're about to have the second entry of Furman. Who's it going to be? Nick Madrid! What? Nick Madrid's here. we got to take a break. Everything's just changed. This is the Red Carpet Rumble. Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. This is the They're Red both Carpet tag team partners. And, and Nick Madrid is in back. Him. We have not seen Nick Madrid the in two years. And then they have the Red Carpet Rumble. The same year as now, so I wasn't confused. The guy was. And he came out to Furman's music. Did you see the look of shock on Bad Dude Tito's face? Well, Nick Madrid's a, a former member of the original Vermin. Oh my God. You talk about things changing? I mean, if we have all of Vermin. Entering the red carpet rumble. Well, I gotta be honest, if all the Furman are in. Oh, Buddy Royal completely destroyed that turnbuckle. Nick Madrid sent him over the top. Flash the connection completely eliminated. As has 21st century old school. They are not going to be successful in the red carpet rumble. Coach Lexo still calling the plays. Dickie Mayer, the representative from Pac 3 in there. And Bad Dude Tito and Nick Madrid working together on Kratos. This is crazy. We've already seen surprise returns. Nick Madrid, really back. And now Damian Smith entering at number 13. The young upstart trained by Brian Kendrick. Really wants to make a name for himself. Goes right after Willie Mack. That's how you do it. They've always trained by Brian Kendrick. They sure feels like it. Even with Pac-3 doing their substitution, they're obviously in control right now. Apparently, they had no clue. Nick Madrid is surprising everyone. It looks like Berman is, is a unified front. Wait oh, a minute. no! What? Nick Madrid! Welcome back, I guess. And see you later. Nick Madrid thought he was welcome back into the fold, but Pat Dutino and Yuma... That's the first time we've seen Yuma and Tito on the same page in quite some time. They both claim to be the most dominant member of Vermin. One thing they can agree on is there's no room for Nick Madrid and Vermin, that's for sure. And now Kratos taking it to Bad Dude Tito. Oh, Damien Smith is out. Willie Mack with a big elimination right there. That's Willie's second elimination. Oh, what? what? The comrades? seen the Comrade in action. Well, this will be interesting. Comrade's a big, tough dude. He's going after Willie Mack. Trying to choke out Willie. I don't think they've explained what these rules are. Choke is not going to... Oh, I don't think he can... Oh, boy. I think this is what you get for years of spitting on the American flag. And America stands together for my Comrade. And the pride of Russia has been destroyed. Oh! Picking up the referee. By far the quickest entry and elimination thus far in the 2016 Red Carpet Rumble. Bye. And good riddance. What else is going to happen? Red Carpet Rumble is always full of 
surprises. You never know what's going to happen. Meanwhile, Coach Flex staying very focused, trying to coach his team. Currently, Dan Joseph, Yuma all over. Oh, no, there goes Eric Cross. Eric Cross is out. Kratos eliminating another competitor here. Number 16 about to enter the red carpet rumble. Who's it going to be? Oh, no. Uh, DJ High. The Lariat God has entered the red carpet rumble. Undefeated in singles competition, DJ Hyde is now in the role. Oh, good night, Dan Joseph. Hyde versus Kratos. That is just a ton of man right there. My goodness. I've never seen Jared Kratos get taken down like that. Oh. And even Berman standing off. Tito sending Yuma into a fist. Oh, you know Yuma's not going to be pleased about that. And now Dan Joseph Yuma using Yuma for cover. Yuma's become a human shield. Only one man standing, and it is the Lariat God, DJ High. And you just see the scars all over his body. Wow, he's taking everybody out. Hardcore, strong competitor. Good luck to whoever number 17 is. I was not rushing that ring with DJ Hyde in there. Oh, look at this. Ooh. And a brain trust there to Dan Joseph and Yuma. Who's coming out? Jarrell Nelson. The self-proclaimed training show in the ring. Look at that. Oh. Showing no fear. Shots right in the face of DJ Hyde. He says he wants to make it here on Muhammad Ali crowd. Well, he's going right after Hyde. Not the wisest move in the world. Real Nelson could have a good chance to win this thing. He's athletic, he's fast, but he can't go toe to toe with DJ Hyde right off the start. Yeah, not a smart move. You gotta bide your time in the red carpet trouble. You gotta plan, you gotta work, you gotta build alliances. You can't just go slugging it out with the biggest dude in the ring. DJ Hyde. Meanwhile, Berman just hiding in the corner. Now, Dickie Mayer substituting back in for Pac Marie going right after Hyde. I just basically looks annoyed at this point. Completely unimpressed. And, and Dickie Mayer is a big guy. Yuma dropping his thumbs into the face of Kratos. Who's going to be next? Gerald Nelson close to eliminating Yuma. Sway Thompson is here! <laughs> That's not the Sway Thompson we're used to. It's the new improved Sway Thompson. He's ready to dab on him. We gotta take a break. The red carpet rumble continues right after this. A desert. Nelson able to skin the cat, stay in this matchup. Pack three. They were trying to pull him out. Oh, what amazing oh, horse strength. Oh. Can he keep his feet from touching the ground? Look at Coach. Able to sneak in back up to the bottom row. Ooh, but Dickie Mayer running into a huge right hand from Bad Tito. The big men are in full control. You know, there's a luck of the draw in the red carpet rumble, and Sway Thompson is not lucky dealing with DJ Hyde. As we await the number 19 entrant of the red carpet rumble, who's it gonna be? Like this. 
Number 20 is about to enter. Well, that caught the attention of Dude. DJ Hyde. Big Duke. The man from Philadelphia. Oh, we're about to have a face off. Oh, DJ Hyde's been calling Big Duke the false prophet of a Larian gun. Not only that, he's attacked Big Duke. Lance Big Duke center of the ring. What a black hole slam. Here we go, Hyde. Ooh, runs into a big elbow. And Big Duke gets some wretch. Oh my, my, wait a minute. Big Duke. With a big boot, he's out. Big Duke's eliminated TJ Hyde. I can't believe You've it. You've got to be kidding me. TJ Hyde has been dominating the rumble. And Big Duke, the perfect number to come in and take out DJ Hyde. Number 21 is about to enter. Oh, boy. Who's the next? It's Joey Ryan. Roman. Uh-oh. Joey. The king of sleeves. So they eliminated one. They have two more in the ring, and then they have Joey Ryan. Roman is back to being three strong with Joey Ryan, Yuma, and Bad Dude Tito. Is Joey Ryan gonna go after Wooly Mac after the big matchup? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What is what is Coach Flex doing? He's entering the red carpet rumble. Oh, Flex, that's so. that's the coach. He's not a competitor, he's a coach. I guess everyone else in Pack 3 needs a break, so Coach Flex is gonna show him how it's done. Uh oh. I don't think Willie Mac's impressed. Yep, completely unfazed by Coach Flex though. That's another pack three. No, they're pack three. Dicky Mayer. What's next? He's the quarterback. He's just gave up. He sacks the quarterback. He's out. The quarterback. Pack three has been eliminated. Willie Mack taking out all members of pack three. And Jerome Nelson, the flying boot from Kratos, he's gone. It's complete chaos here now. Willie Mack is eliminated by four. Hammerstone! Hammerstone at number 22! This is gonna change things up! Here we go! At this point, I've lost count of how many eliminations Willie Mack has, I believe we're at five. Unless you count Troy McGuire eliminating himself, then it would be six. I'll give him that point. Definitely didn't want to go toe to toe with Chocolate Thunder as Hammerstone already beating back to the drawing board for the pack three. Hammerstone with a big victory over Bad Dude Tito. What could it mean if he's able to eliminate him from the red carpet rumble as well? I gotta say, I still can't get over Big Dude taking out DJ Hyde over the top rope. And now Yuma's in a bad spot in the corner. Willie Mack putting all the pressure on the throat of Yuma trying to get him out. Yuma able to hang on. Like I said, three members of Vermin still in there. Yuma clinging on for dear life. The spirits are wailing away on Hammerstone. Here comes the spirit to... Oh! Was Swain eliminated? We didn't even see it! it Swain looks like was eliminated! Wait, Thompson, and the spirit is gone! Swain was going up against Kratos! Kratos must have eliminated him! Oh. <laughs> That's not even to death! He is back! Even after being completely destroyed by the main event, James Morgan! Still, you are showing those effects, no doubt about that, but hey, you get a shot! I think he was on Bateman's partner. Could be. Oh, could he eliminate Joey Ryan? No one would see this coming. Sheriff 120 and Bad Dude Tito coming to the same for his teammate. I gotta say, Urban looks fully unified. They certainly were unified during the bachelor party of Joey Ryan, that's for sure. But don't forget, Joe, when it comes down to it, the red carpet rumble is every man for himself. It's gonna come down to two, completely reset, and those men are gonna have whatever's left in the tank.
That's right. And one thing's for sure, we know who number 30 is. Devin Sparks is going to be the freshest competitor in that ring, giving him the best opportunity to move on to that matchup, yeah. possibly move on to being the number one contender for the Heritage Championship. He won that number 30 spot somewhat underhandedly, but nonetheless, that's the spot everybody wants, and he has it as number 24 is about to enter the ring. For Berman. There's only two left. It's Kevin Martin. I think. Back. Yeah. Kevin Martinson returns. Hippy. Beard completely adored. Not removing the best. One of the most successful television title reigns of all time. Don't forget the Marquez mandate. He defended it every single week before losing it to our heritage champion, Free Peter Avalon. Almost all members of Vermin now in this matchup. It's just a complete mess right now. We gotta take a break. The red carpet rumble brought to you by Dubas continues right after this. A desert diamond. Back to the red carpet rumble. Joy right oh, the Jesus. Spot, able to fight his way out of it. Vermin almost in complete control, working as a unit. And the countdown is on to number 25 in the red carpet rumble. Oh my lord. It's Brody King. He's back. We have not seen Brody King in quite some time. Brody King's been training in Japan for this moment right here for his entrance into the red carpet rumble. And what a fortunate spot, pulling number 25. Look at the size of every competitor standing right now. Brody King, super fresh and super tall. The tallest competitor in that match right now. But he's not the strongest. Ooh, okay. So as a matter of Kick after kick, and Hammerstone stands tall. Look at it, bad news oh. He got the elimination. He's eliminated Hammerstone. Herman has always been incredibly opportunistic. Perfect example, bad dude Tito from behind. After losing to Hammerstone last week, he eliminates him. Now Willie Mack taking it to Brody King, full head of steam. Oh, oh. he's eliminating himself. King able to sidestep. Look, you gotta take chances at the red carpet rumble. Willie Mack did just that. It didn't pay off. One of the odds on favorites is now eliminated. Who's coming up next now? Danny Rivera from Los Primos Rivera. And now at this point, you've got Bad Dude Tito's been in this match the longest. Coming in at number six. But he's got his Vermin brethren there to help him out. And uh -oh. Danny doesn't have Gino. Gino was put in a while ago. Jericho at 20. Very close. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Can, can he reverse it? Can he get Danny Rivera, the freshest man in this matchup, eliminated? Feet hanging off the apron. Look at the agility of Danny Rivera. The core strength as they fight their way back in. Meanwhile, Duke and Joey going at it in the corner there. Tito and Yuma taking a breather. That's what you're going to need to do. you got to be able to catch him. Oh, my goodness. It's Kevin Martinson. He was biting the face of Big Duke like a wild animal. Like the furry wild animal he looks like. I think he's rabid, too. Meanwhile, Danny Rivera just getting stomped out by Kratos. And Brody King with his Zubaz-inspired ring attire. We have four more competitors still yet to enter in the red carpet rumble. The countdown's on to number 27. Two, one. Timothy Thatcher. Oh, Timothy Thatcher. One half of the former United Tag Team champs. Lost narrowly to his partner. Oh, Brody King's been eliminated by Timothy Thatcher. Timothy Thatcher coming up a loss against Drew Gulak. What do you oh, got Kratos? No, 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 he doesn't. He's Kratos, not. hold on. Oh, now he's out. Timothy Thatcher on fire. Thatcher eliminates two competitors in a matter of seconds. You talk about a favorite. You come in at number 27 as you're as good as Thatcher. Wow. And now all members of Berman converging on their biggest threat. And they know that that's Timothy Thatcher. Thatcher is all by himself here. That can spell the end for him very quickly when you have Berman. Four on one. Oh, or does he? Drew Gulak. One of the best tag teams on planet Earth is in this matchup. Who now has an ally, Joe? And now they're taking it to Bad Dude Tito, eliminating the big man. The man who's been in this match longer than anyone else. 
left in the red carpet rumble. Now what? How do they decide? This is going to work. We're going to figure out who the real leader of Urban is. How unified are they truly? A crowd. There can only be one winner. Yuma's already a former Heritage champion. Kevin Martin and Ryan Taylor and Kevin and Joey Ryan, also former television champs. They're one of the most decorated teams we've ever had in championship wrestling from Hollywood. Oh, this is gross. Oh, the walk off. You would take it out by Joey Ryan, and the powder keg has exploded. Furman has imploded. The unification is officially over. Like we said before, every man for himself. Walk off to Kevin Martinson. Walk off to Tito. Walk off to Ryan Taylor. And the king of sleaze is riding high right now. But Yuma from behind gets the elimination. Joey Ryan has been eliminated. We have to go to commercial. Four members of Urban still in the ring. Don't go anywhere. A bad dude, Tito. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, but they were rooting for Yuma. Yuma. Tita. Oh my god, Yuma's forgiving him. Maybe he realizes he's been Heritage Champion. Maybe this is Bad Dude Tito's time. Oh no. Oh no! Fade the black! Fade the black on Yuma! Bad Dude Tito has gone from Bourbon to Exterminator. Oh no. What is he doing now? Taking out the trash. Joe, have we just seen the end of Bourbon as we know it? There's no way you could come back from this. I, I gotta There's say, no way. I never thought this is how it would end. But the bad dude now has his shot at the Heritage Championship at our upcoming anniversary show. And Nico Marquez to raise the hand, but bad dude Tito. They've got a long history together. Nico Marquez brought in Hammerstone to take out Bad Dude Tito. Well, don't Bad Dude Tito was fired. He came back with an axe to grind. Was brought back in by Vermin. Now he turns his back on Vermin. The tides have completely changed here at the Red Carpet Rumble. Congratulations to Bad Dude Tito. We'll see you next week.